Hey, this is Mr. Burns back again. Uh, we're going to talk today about Virginia's legislative branch, which is also called the General Assembly. It's made up of two houses, bicameral legislature, just like the Congress is. Uh, the G General Assembly includes the House of Delegates and the State Senate. Um, hopefully you're familiar with these terms from the nine box chart. Hopefully. Okay, so you've uh, read the great state today, the iCivics reading to introduce local uh, state and local government. And uh, then there was a little reading at the beginning of uh, number four, which you grabbed on the way in, Virginia's legislative branch, which gave you a little bit of background information. Now let's uh, turn to the second page of number four. And let's look at starting right here. All right, so where it should be. All right, so we're going to fill in our, our guided notes using this graphic organizer. You don't have to write anything on this slide, but remember that just like at the national level, the state level government is also divided into three branches uh, to make sure that one branch does not become too powerful. Each branch has distinct jobs in our government. Um, and of course, the legislative branch makes laws, the executive branch enforces, the judicial branch interprets the laws. Okay, so here's our uh, federalism concept, right? And so we're going to be talking about the state level of government for the next couple classes and then the local level of government for the couple classes after that. All right, so we're here on our graphic organizer on the second page of number four. And at the top, you should write Virginia Constitution. That's where the three branches of uh, Virginia's government derive their powers. The legislative branch is the General Assembly, and its job is to make laws for the state. The executive branch is headed by the governor, and the governor and the lieutenant governor, the cabinet and bureaucracy, and attorney general enforce the laws of the state. And then the judicial branch, which we finished, we're not going to talk about that too much this unit, uh, is the Virginia court system, and their job is to interpret the laws and try cases and make sure that uh, citizens um, pay for their actions if they break laws. All right, so let's look at, uh, here's the Capitol building in Richmond, and let's look at the General Assembly. So going down this page, General Assembly is a bicameral legislature, like I mentioned before, um, but it's a little different than Congress because the state senators and the state delegates, it's really a part-time job for them. It's not a full-time job. In, in odd number of years, the years that they get elected, they only meet about 30 days. They can meet more if they need to, but usually about 30 days, even number of years, 60 days, because they have to look at the uh, budget prepared by the governor. So it's going to be a little bit longer those years. And again, House of Delegates and Virginia Senate. All right, going to the next page of number four. Um, actually, let's stay here. And uh, remember, House of Delegates every two years, and there's 100 members. So that's kind of like the House of Representatives where there's more members, it's the lower house. The Senate is the upper house, and they're, they're elected every four years, and they um, have 40 members, okay? All right, so as you go to the next page in your uh, note sheet, you're gonna, we're gonna talk about the lawmaking process. All right, so let's look at the lawmaking process in Virginia, which is very, very similar to that of the United States. Okay, so the bill uh, can be a bill can be proposed. Remember, a citizen can meet with a representative or a senator or a delegate, but you cannot walk into the General Assembly and introduce a bill. That can only be done by a Virginia senator or a Virginia delegate. So that's the first step, though, is getting that bill proposed, coming up with an idea, and, and formulating it. Goes into committee, step two. Okay, um, step two is going to be to review, research, and revise the bill. So they work in committee to uh, ensure that, you know, that bill is fine-tuned, that bill uh, it makes sense and uh, is, is something that they think will get passed. All right, step three is to debate the bill on the floor. And they're going to do this in the House of Origin first, and then they'll vote on it, step four, in that House of Origin. And if it doesn't pass, then it it dies. If it passes, it goes to the other house, which will be step five, right? Step five is debate and vote on the bill in the other house. And remember our, um, at the beginning of the year, during unit four, earlier this year, we had a, um, an acronym. Remember, I think it was like I-C-D-V-O-S, um, right? And we said like, um, I can drive very uh, old, Subarus, I don't know, something like that, or I can do very odd stuff. 
just to help remember this. This is step five. And then step six of the mnemonic was signing the bill into law by the governor, or the governor could choose to veto it. Okay, and that's Governor Terry McAuliffe, whose term will expire next year. All right. And then there's a couple bullets below this that will um, give you a little bit more detail. So remember, public policy, they write laws and they take action in res response to problems and issues in Virginia. So they're going to write any reserve power that we have, any power that we have over the state government from the state constitution is where they're going to be focusing their attention. Okay. And then, of course, we know we've, we've talked about this many times, that individuals and interest groups shape legislation. They can lobby. They can meet with their delegates, meet with their senators to get bills written. They can um, vote in elections to get that done. They can raise money uh, to, to work for campaigns or to give to campaigns. There's a lot of different ways that they can in, uh, influence legislation. All right, and then the last bullet on that page is just a reminder about the Tenth Amendment and the idea of reserve powers. So reserve powers are, are given to the state by the Tenth Amendment, uh, and this is where the state governments are working from, these ideas of reserve power. So there's certain types of powers that are reserved to the states. Um, they're also working within some of those concurrent powers because they're shared. All right, so let's look at the last page of the packet, which is going to be on the back. Okay, it's going to look like a chart. So uh, where it says meaning, I want you to write what's written on the bullet there. So the first issue at the state level is education. So for meaning, I want you to write to promote active, informed citizens. And then over on the right side, you'll notice a box that's split in half. Okay, on top, I want you to write the teacher example, which I've given you, and later you'll come up with an example of your own. So the example I've given you is establish minimum standards for local schools. That's where you can write uh, the top half of the box to the right of the meaning of education. Okay. Second issue is public health. You can throw public safety in here to promote and protect Virginians' health, okay, the health of Virginians, people living in Virginia. An example, again, teacher examples gonna go on top in this box is gonna be fund health benefits. Fund means support through government money. All right, the third issue is the environment to promote natural resources. An example here would be to improve water quality in the Chesapeake Bay, which is part of Virginia's uh, land requirements, water requirements. All right. Fourth is the state budget. And the meaning is going to be to approve a biennial or two-year budget prepared by the governor. An example, teacher example again, add $10 million to the state budget for road projects. And so biennial, every two years. That's going to be an even year, so those years where they meet for 60 days. All right, and the last one is revenue. To levy and collect taxes. Levy just means to set how much, how much a certain amount of taxes. And then collect is, of course, to bring them in. An example could be um, licenses or, or sales tax. I'm going to pause the video if you need to. All right. Um, now I want you to come up with an example for each of the five issues and write it in the box for the student examples. Pause the video if you need to. Okay, so what's important to understand about this? Really that the Virginia Legislative Branch is the General Assembly. And the General Assembly is bicameral, split up into two houses just like Congress. And their job is to make laws, take action, about the problems or issues at the state level. And again, they focus on those five issues of education, public health and safety, environment, state budget, and revenue. That's their primary focus are those topics. They usually stay kind of within those topics. Again, some of those are reserve powers, concurrent powers. They usually stay within those topics. Okay, once you finish with this, we are going to have an exit ticket today. For your homework tonight, for next class, is going to be 29 to 35 in your study guide which will cover the state legislative branch. And then our next topic, we're going to move pretty quick in this unit, will be state ex uh, executive branch, which will be the governor and the state bureaucracy and the cabinet, et cetera. All right, thank you very much.